Welcome to part two of C Lesson One. So now say if we wanted to print this, we could we could use a print function to put it on the console. But say we want to um assign it something. So name one, we do space equals space and then single quote because whenever we're making a care we do single quotes and I'll make it A. So the second character of name is going to equal A. So the the name character is going to equal nothing, A, and then five hundred and ten more nothings. So we if if we want to assign something they type in to be multiple characters in this name, that seems very complicated at first. So let's make it easier. There's a function, I think it's in string.h called f get s. So we do f get s, left bracket, name semicolon, space, then the maximum amount we can get, 512, semicolon, space, stood in, um, left parenthesis, semicolon. So standard input is yet another file, stood in, and it's only read, so we can only read to it, and that's what they type in in the terminal. So that's a file we can read from any time to prompt them to give us input. So right now we're getting... 512 bytes from the console, shoving it into name from standard input. Um, so, right here, before we do this, I'm going to say printf um, name, please. Okay, so there's not going to be any enter after this, so they'll type their name right here, say they type Joe. Then, this character array name once they're done typing that in and they've hit enter, we'll equal Joe. So now say we want to print out hello space and then their name. We get rid of this world thing and we'll replace it with a percent s. What the heck is a percent s? Percents have magic values with printf and other printf like functions. Percent s means that we're promising this thing that now we're gonna give it a string to put where the percent s is. Say we do percent in some other letter other than S. It'll probably be another code that it expects another type of data, like a number or um, something similar to that. Percent %S is a character array. Percent %C is one character, etc. So we're going to do percent %S. So now how do we give it the string to replace percent %S with? We do, after both quotes, we do comma space name. Now, say we had two percent s's because we wanted to print something else out. So the second percent s would be the second thing right here. So they go in order. Now, say you have three percent s's but only two strings here. That would be totally messed up. Say you had two strings here but you had no percent s's. That would be messed up. So you don't want to mess anything up. So Right now, it's going to pr print a hello space, and then there, whatever they entered in the terminal, and then a new line, because backslash n is the equivalent of a new line. Okay, so say that's good. So now, when we build and go this, and I'm going to tell you about that terminal emulator built into Xcode now. When it's running, you can go up to run console. So console is like the terminal app, app built in. So whatever I've run will run in this terminal. You see this is from the original run I ran it and it said hello world. Now it's asking me to enter my name because we typed it there. So I'll type Alex. And you're gonna get a little surprise here right now so don't think I'm not ready. Hello Alex new line, exclamation point, and then another new line. Why are there two new lines there? Why is there a new line after my name? I just do percent %s, exclamation point, right here. There should be no new line right here. It's not like I put this here. F get s adds a new line to whatever someone's typed in because it stops getting stuff from the console after they've um, typed it in and hit enter. But before it stops, it records the enter. So we have to use something called an if statement to check if the last letter that equals something of name is a new line. And if it is, we're going to make it nothing. 
But before we do that, I'm going to clear something else up with you. FGetS, we specified this thing called 512 right here. That's the maximum they can get in. So it only put the first 512 letters that they've entered into name. Now, the cool thing about that is that if we did 513 here, and they entered 513 characters, even though this character array name is only 512, it would probably cause a big problem on, on the memory of your computer. Now, they've figured out how to fix stuff like that. It's called stack smashing that they figured out how to get rid of. But um, it, 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 it is possible to overwrite other places in memory, or at least it used to be, which is why fgetS is a very good function, and I'm glad we're using it right now. So, back to checking if the last letter of that thing is backslash n or new line, and if it is, we're going to get rid of it. Right here, we do if, space, left parenthesis, name, less than. So, whenever we're trying to access a character of name, we can do left than a number, or, you know, left bracket, a number, right bracket. But, how do we know what the what how long name is and then how do we like subtract one from that to get the last letter because that's how it works we do sterlen left parenthesis name right parenthesis sterlen will return the length of the string so now say the strings five letters long and we get that and it'll be five here remember how it starts out at zero so to get the last letter we actually want four so we do sterlen left parenthesis name right parenthesis space minus space one so right here we have name and then the length of name minus one so we're gonna access the last character that is something in name so now we do space equals equals when you're comparing two things you do double equals and when you're assigning a value to something you do single equals but since we're doing double equals we'll do equals equals space single quote so that's like um, an apostrophe backslash n Another single quote. So if this was a string, we'd do regular quote. But since it's a character, we do single quotes. So that's good. So now we do um, left parenthesis. So we're seeing if the last letter of name is a new line. If it is, then we're going to use more um, curly braces. This, everything between this and this only happens if this equals this. You see, that's the beauty of an if statement. There is no if statement in assembler. So you should be glad you have that. So inside of this, in this, we're going to type our code. And you don't have to use um, indentation like I'm doing with tabs, but it's nicer. So now, we're going to, instead of comparing this to something, we're going to assign it to something. So we're going to do the exact same code. Sterling name minus one equals, one equals, so we're assigning something, space, and then zero, semicolon. So, zero is nothing. It's a null bit. Nothing. And since we're assigning the last letter of name to be that null bit, we're cutting off the new line from the end of the name and changing it to be nothing. So now that we've done that, we'll save it, build and go, and we'll go up to run console so now it's asking me for my name again because we've run it again so I'll type Alex hit enter and it says hello Alex with no new line unlike this behavior we got before before we did this if statement so that's the fir first C lesson um, I'm sure you have plenty of questions so ask them I will try to respond to all your questions as soon as possible if you don't get it so um, thanks for watching Mac kids and all on um, try this out um, so this is really officially our first C lesson so goodbye